Hello, welcome to this video. This is a video and a list of video series regarding how to create your own VPS on your, your own system, your own private system. VPS standing for Virtual Private Server. And it's, this is just a tutorial on uh, how to install your VPS and how to manipulate and configure it. The uh, VPS that we're installing, or the virtual machine that we will that we install, was Cento, Cent, CentOS Linux 7. And so we're going to continue. We've already installed it. We're going to continue uh, configuring it some more. So let's go ahead and log into our server. logged in and so let's just go ahead and clear the screen and so if you're following along in this video series uh, you we've already installed a CentOS uh, op operating system and then we did updates on the operating system and then we went over how to install software packages that we wanted for this operating system we already went over how to use uh, the software package which comes with CentOS which is called YUM and YUM is um, it's an acronym that stands for Yellow Dog Updater um, Modifier. I forget what it stands for but if you want to know exactly let's just go ahead and run the man uh, command with YUM and then press enter and there you go yellow dog updater modified so that's what we're going to be using today we're going to install some more packages so let's just do a queue to get out of this uh, out of this screen and then we'll clear the screen and I have a list of uh, things that we need to do okay and in our last video, we went ahead and configured our firewall and our interface with our firewall. If you don't, if you don't remember seeing that or you haven't seen that yet, just go to the previous video. But from here, what we're going to do, the next thing we're going to do is install uh, OpenSSH so that you can SSH from your to your box from a remote location. Okay, I already have it installed, but as you can see, that's the command right there. All right, so let's go back to our CentOS box, and to use the Yum command, the Yum uh, package manager, you have to use uh, sudo because you need root rights, and you just do sudo yum install space, and then this open ssh dash server, and then. If you don't want to have to answer any questions, you can do a minus, sorry, a minus Y. And that way it'll install it without asking you if you want to continue with the install. I've already had it installed, okay? But just so you can see, that's it. It's going to ask for your password. I think I typed that in wrong. Oh, no, it took it. It took it. And as you can see, the package is already being installed it has already been installed open SSH server is the package that you want to use when you want to like we said SSH into this box remotely from another computer all right and then the next thing we want to install is going to be in map in map is a uh, software package that you can use for doing scans of your network uh, or doing scans of a network to see what uh, ports are open what ports are closed we'll go over that now and to install in map I'm just gonna hit the F up arrow for the last command and instead of open SSH we're gonna just type in in map and then press enter now before we press enter I already have it installed if you want to see or gather information about nmap and see what it's all about you can just run the command sudo yum info space nmap and it'll give you the information about nmap and you just press enter 
And as you can see down at the bottom, it tells you what Nmap is and what it does. It's just software that allows you to do network uh, commands like um, checking out what your um, what ports are open, what ports are closed, what uh, host machines or what computers on your network may be open, and things like that. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and clear the screen. We're gonna hit the up arrow so we don't have to type in all the commands. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit the backspace on our keyboard. And then we're gonna type in nmap. And then you just press enter. And as you can see right here, it says I already have the package. But that's how you install nmap. Now, the way you use nmap, you can use nmap to scan for all of the computers on your on your network or you can use it to scan your internal computer for today we're going to go ahead and just run a scan on our, on our internal computer and we're going to scan for ports and see which ports are open which ports are closed so to run that command the first thing you want to do is look for the IP address of your computer for our CentOS server we're just going to run the command here you can run several commands but the newest one, we're going to use the IP command. And that's just IP space address space show and then the interp interface name, which in this case is going to be IN, INP0S3. And then you press enter. And then this shows our interface. Okay, our interface name is ENP0S3. Okay, and then you see the IP address, uh, broadcast mask, and let's see, you should see here's my MAC address for that uh, interface. Okay, so we know from this output what our IP address is. So from here, we're going to use that to do a scan through NMAP, and the command for doing that. Nmap uh, requires root writes, so you're going to need to use sudo space nmap space, and then you want to use um, the minus s, small s, large s, which is for scan uh, stealthily, and then minus s, large v, for scan uh, verbosely. That means put it out onto the screen, and then you're going to put in the IP address. And for this one is seven. You press enter. Okay. And then as you can see, it's done a successful scan. It basically does a scan of all of the uh, of the 1,024 known ports. Okay. And as you can see, the only port I have open is 22. That's the SSH uh, uh, port, and that's the port you use when you want to uh, SSH either to or from this machine all right and so we're gonna go ahead and clear the screen and let's see the next one that we want to install is oh we want to install p7zip because when you install packages sometimes you're gonna need to unzip them sometimes you're gonna need to you're not going to be able to find all of the packages within the uh, CentOS repository. So you're going to have to go to the different websites of the developers, download it, the package from there, and then unzip it because they may come zip files. So this is a good utility to have right here, P7zip. So let's go ahead and install that. And as with every other yum package command that we get, you're going to just do, type in sudo yum install. Oh, I'm sorry. If you want to learn more things about the package before you install it, as we did before, you just type in info space p7 zip. Oh, I think it's p7 zip. And then you press in. You press enter. Uh, hold on, I might not have typed it in right. Hold on, it's P7. P7 zip. Okay, no such package. Well, then let's try another command. Let's try. 
yum search hmm. okay well since we don't have it there maybe it's not in those repository so what we're going to do is let's just try a test let's do a sudo yum install uh, p7 zip it should say that it can install it let's see yeah it won't install it that's because it's not in the current repository for CentOS okay that's okay we can fix that if we add an extra repository we can we will be able to uh, install uh, p7 zip and we're going to skip to the next um, to the next command this is going to install a third-party repository known as epo-release. I'm probably not saying it right. It's probably Apple, but anyway, that's the repository that we want to install. So let's go ahead and install that now. Before we do that, we will go ahead and clear the screen, and then we'll use our sudo command: sudo yum install ep dash release all right and then you press enter all right and here's gonna ask you do you want to continue with the installation we want to type Y for yes and then it's gonna continue with the installation and as you can see down at the bottom it is complete now let's clear the screen now let's do a search for the uh, P7 zip. So if we just hit the up arrow, we should be able to find the command. And first let's start with the info search. And there we go, it's gathering the information. Oh, let's see, it said failed. Hold on a minute, looks like it's trying to find it still. Okay, there we go. Description, P7-Zip is a port of P-Z-A yada yada yada. Okay, it's a contract, it, and it, it does, it compresses um, files and it uncompresses files. So that's good. Now that we've downloaded the EPL uh, repository, we should be able to install Win or 7-Zip. So let's go ahead and uh, clear the screen. And now we'll hit the up arrow. There's P, uh, P7-zip, and then, because I don't want to answer any questions, I'll type in the Y-switch, and then I'll press Enter. And then we'll give it a few minutes, and it'll go ahead and install it automatically for us. And as we can see, it went ahead and completed it. So that's excellent. And so we got one more thing we need to install, and that's going to be uh, RK or Root Killer. A rootkit hunter, excuse me. And so, this is just a, 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 a software package that helps you learn how to scan for rootkits, which are malicious, uh, uh, malicious software that a hacker would install on your system. And then it'll go ahead and look for passwords. Maybe it might even install some some malicious packages. Um, so if you install rootkit killer, you can find rootkits that have been uh, hidden or installed without your permission, and you can go ahead and get rid of them. So that's what rootkit killer is, and the way we install that, let's go ahead and clear the screen, and you've guessed it. You type in yum install rk hunter. Now, the one thing we did forget to do is we forgot to use the sudo command. Okay, and then from there, we want to go ahead and go back and type in y minus y for yes, press enter. And it's going to go ahead and install the software for us. And so we give it a few moments, it's going to install that. Okay, and as we can see, it has been completed. All right, we're just going to go ahead and clear the screen. Okay, 
for now that's going to be the end of this video in the next video to come up we'll go over some of these uh, items and stuff that we've installed and how to use them and how to implement them into our uh, CentOS server so thank you very much I appreciate you watching this video please like share and subscribe you have a good day bye bye